Welcome to a brand new year, a whole new beginning for us to find healing with one another and our earth, to look at the ways that we have been transformed through this pandemic. Welcome to St. Mark's Community of Faith Epiphany Service. Thank you for joining us. Let us center ourselves in honoring this land and these territories that we each gather on. We acknowledge our indigenous brothers and sisters and seek to always look to be reconciled with one another, with the earth, as we remain committed to walking a path of peace and justice and compassion with an open mind as Great Spirit God guides us. Let us center ourselves in this invocation. Arise, shine, for the light of the world has come. Darkness covers the earth and its people, but the radiance of God's light burns away its shadows, illuminates the smallest quarter, and heralds in the start of a new dawn where hearts no longer fear, souls might be set free, and sisters shall follow brother, nation shall follow nation. And kings and princes bow down in awe before the one who comes to reign. Arise, shine, for the light of the world has come. Hallelujah!
The sacred story tells us, in the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, where is the child who has been born king of the Hebrew people? For we have observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may go also and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. The story of the star is so deeply personal. It is the light that comes into the world when everything is freshly born. The star that the Magi follow and find the new baby is the story of every life that is born into the world. A story that reminds us that in our birth comes a presence of guardianship that we may or may not see or experience, but exists. In some way, our souls have invited individuals, natural occurrences, ephemeral experiences, nature, other human beings to walk with us. And at our birth, these beings exist to help us navigate our lives. And some of us are fortunate enough to form, form relationship with them. And for some of us, it's possibly a shadow that we have a sense that something is with us, helping us, guiding us. And for some of us, we become very lost. But in that moment, when we first arrive, a star is born out from our beings as our soul comes into this place we call Earth. As we celebrate this new year, this time of epiphany where the light 
can come on and it may not come on today or tomorrow or when when or it may come on when we least expect it it is there waiting to be turned on and what we do when that light is turned on whether we're aware of it or not we acknowledge that star that came into being when we were birthed the sun now is lasting a little bit longer during the day as the days now are getting a little bit longer the sun who was birthed reminds us of that star in each of us, the Christ light, the inner presence, the God self, and the Magi who have come from unknown places to acknowledge this birth, this light, is also our Magi acknowledging us. And I know that many of us are lost. Some of us just don't get found during this lifetime. But it doesn't change that we are each a star and that we have that light within us to live out into the world. And perhaps if we hear someone remind us that we have that, maybe we will find something. Maybe the switch will come on and we'll go, in spite of what we may have suffered, we might just find a small sliver of our divinity and that will allow us to know a little bit of self-love self-kindness and we all need that some of us more than others and when we present with that others pick up on it they we are an energetic species we are an energetic cosmological existing species which relates to all the different energies on this planet and in the universe. We are so much broader and larger than we could possibly know. And the birth of this little baby is our very significant reminder of that. We don't live outside of that. We live inside of that. And I feel if Jesus wanted us to know something, it would be that that we are each born with that star that showed us Jesus and now can show us ourselves. If any light comes on, let's, let's make it that one that we know. However small, even if it doesn't cast a lot, it is still there. And we can all feel it and experience it simply by acknowledging that it's there. And that's that's the beginning. Imagine knowing that we have this guardianship that walks with us somewhere within our beings, in our souls, just providing us with, with um, the opportunity to know ourselves and our surroundings and our, our deeper places inside that will bring us a, a contentment, a compassion. a loving kindness for everything. This is a remarkable story and that it starts our year off sounds like a story of potentiality about where we're actually going and that we're always arriving out from the dark into something that we can see with new eyes, that we're coming out from shadow into sunshine. And yes, there's always the movement back and forth, but there's always the movement into the sunshine, into light from shadow. And perhaps that is the story of our, our species. And because the movement appears quite slow in our lifetime, it doesn't mean that it's not there and that we're heading towards a larger, brighter star where there will be a stronger bond, a stronger realization, and we will present it with a whole new story to live out. 
this is a wonderful place to start, to begin, knowing that we are a part of a, a family of people who were just seeking to have a safe place to birth a child who was surrounded by animals and angels and magi and shepherds and straw and cloth and whoever else gathered recognizing here comes the star and I'm here because my star feels your star little baby little wonderful baby who has changed our lives. Thanks be to God for that and so many other things. Amen. Your word is truth for victims of injustice, light for all who cannot see, love where there is hatred, freedom for the oppressed. Your word is healing when there is sickness, comfort in times of sorrow, mercy where there is humility, hope for eternity. Let us be still before God, rest quietly in this presence, listen. Let us bring before God the words that may have hurt and all those left unsaid, the anger we have felt and resentment we have fed. Let us be still before God, rest quietly in this presence. Listen. God is slow to anger, willing to forgive, full of grace. Draw near to holy God, rest quietly in this presence. Listen. John Birch, 2016. We are one, and our wars and racial divisions cannot defeat the wholeness that lies just below the horizon of human awareness. Barbara Holmes
I offer you this blessing as you walk into this new day, this new year. Parent God, the star that led the Magi to the stable announced to the world that its Savior was born. Today we live in a world that is still covered by shadow and still needing to make that journey to the stable door. May our lives reflect your light day by day as we seek to serve where you have placed us, that we might be the means through which others can encounter all that is love, all that is you. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to a new beginning. Amen.